Hello everyone, it's Cross aka Taka, and it is time for this week's haul video, and most of this is Church Bazaar uh, finds, so uh, $5 a bag at each sale, uh, and then jewelry piles, and one estate sale, uh, where I got a couple pins. But this lovely witch behind me, I actually got for free today. She's got a little sand. Uh, someone posted on Facebook, swing by. I'm trying to limit down my stuff. And so I swung by and I grabbed her. If they'd had full skeletons, I would have grabbed one of those too, but they were both missing their legs. So, um, and also happy candy day. <laughs> All right. So I'll start with that. I got a Prince of Peace. So this didn't fit in the bag, but they let me keep it as part of my bag, but these are for keeps for our backyard. They're two drink holders that you uh, put into the ground. So I thought that was good. And then I found this pie bird. It does have an itty bitty chip on the tail, but considering everything, not bad. So this pile, I spent 70 cents an item and that included both those things together for 70 cents on the last one. So, um, and I got this wooden quail, which I believe is made of ironwood. Uh, those sell well. Once I polish it up, then take a nice picture in the sunlight. So, so far bird theme right there. Uh, this one's got sheep on it. It's a little ornament of a drummer boy. And it looks like it probably plays. It's a Hallmark from 2010. Needs new batteries, but I thought that was cute. And again, any animal item I sell goes towards charity. And uh, I had a really good cat sale yesterday of 275. So like 27.50, at least we'll be going to you pause from that. So this one would be towards my farm sanctuary one because it's got that. The birds depend if they're wild birds or pet birds. Like if it's Tweety Bird, I put it towards you pause. If it's a wild bird, it goes towards a wildlife rehab facility. Uh, got this. Wiley E. Coyote, seeing if I can see what year he's from, but it's a little hand puppet. He's all pissed off too. It's really funny. Uh, and then I got a bigger plush. I will have to check if I need to untie his tail or not though. There's a knot in his tail. This is Fievel from Fievel Goes West because he got the cowboy hat on. Uh, Ugh, scrunched up your little nose there. I didn't see it for a second. Your tooth is going upwards, but you look complete and at least your clothes are still on you. So, and then the only puzzle I let myself get today, and I'm just hoping it's all there. It says it's one of the world's most difficult puzzles though. So I'm afraid to open it and see if they're all the same exact size piece, but it's like a devil Sadar doing a puzzle. And then you got a guy playing the flute over here, a unicorn, the snake in the tree, some creepy ass cherubs. But uh, so those were each 70 cents a piece. And then I did a little better at St. Mike's considering I didn't get to start there. So I don't know what I missed, but I paid about 33 cents an item on this pile. And probably my best find was this adorable Annalie Thanksgiving cornucopia. So I will get this listed right away. So hopefully we can find it a new home for this Thanksgiving. Uh, but you get two separate mice. So that is adorable. And I have not had time to look up anything yet. So, cause all of this is from today. And then this does feel like it's glass. So, um, but this cute little rainbow tree ornament And then I got this cute little vintage squirrel. It does say a Nesco on the bottom. I think I might have another squirrel to go with it. Not sure, but love a good squirrel. And then I couldn't refuse Homer Simpson and a chimney ornament. Good thing you're plastic. And then another ornament I got probably needs new batteries as well, but it's supposed to be Santa Claus singing. Really, really chubby Santa singing. And then I picked up this ornament. I think it's the South Carolina flag. 
if I remember correctly, on symbols. Trying to see if I can see the markings on it, but it's a good quality metal one. And then I picked up this uh, Linux uh, Christmas server. Just needs a little cleaning. Then this is my I'm going to research you item. It says Fa'a Canada, fine pewter by Boma, Etain Fin, made in Canada. Originally 15 on sale for $8.99, and I got it for $0.33. Cents. But it looks like it's got some totem poles on it. And it might be just a business card holder. But I thought that looked different. Um, then these cool things, there's two of each. One's this cool bull skewer. And then two chicken skewers. So all of this together, 33 cents. Then I got this cute little glass swan trinket dish. That's all uh, rainbowed glass. And hoping this survived in the bag. Just a little tiny chip off that, I think. But a uh, cute little bird figurine. Uh, it's a gold finch from 1993. And it is Andrea Bicetic. So all I can see wrong is that little tiny chip off the end. And then I grabbed this because it's officially marked Wedgwood. And for 33 cents, I figured I can try that. Just a cute little bud base. And like the other one, I found a hand puppet. This one's a cow. It does feel like the inside's ripped, though. Don't know how to fix that, though. So, but I did not know that, but it is a Dakin. And then I got two lamps. I have not tried either lamp. Got this dinosaur one. Just made in China. I assume you have to just push him to light him, but have not checked on it yet. Let's see if I can uh, get this to plug in and check to see if I can figure out how to turn him on. Oh, he does light. He's just not lighting much right now. He doesn't really show it on camera, but he does light up. And then I couldn't resist the adorable little doggy in the baby boot lamp. And again, haven't tested this one either, but it's an old school light. If nothing else, you can replace this. So I went fast for that part. I have a few pieces of jewelry that I got, but <laughs> so these two I got at the one estate sale we went to today. So we got this turtle pin with malachite stone. And if it's not true malachite, it is a really good imitation stone because it's really pretty, especially in the sunlight. And then I got this uh, Avon pin that's an artist palette. And then got some earrings. Little Frankenstein monster earrings. There are two of them. And I got these cool clip on earrings. Again, I'll do research on them, but they are heavy, but they're fully rhinestoned. And I did see some sort of writing on the back to identify them. And got these dolphin earrings that are Mark Sterling, and they've got kind of a native pattern underneath them. Uh, five star. A five and a star is the symbol of the company, so I'll have to look that up. And I got this little Sterling wolf pin. And for the two pins separately at the sale, sale were two each, and then I spent nine on the jewelry here. And then there's these other pair of sterling and turquoise earrings. And then this really cool little shamrock piece that looks like it might be made out of carnelian. Couldn't quite tell. Have to do some research on it. But... That's all my finds today. I'm obviously the free witch was just freaking awesome. So I'll have something to decorate my yard with next year uh, for Halloween. 
and maybe I'll get a trick-or-treater from doing it, but nothing else she can stand on the porch right now, so that, that'll be fun. Um, Got to put her in the storage shed, though, for winter, I think. Uh, so I will be doing research the rest of the afternoon while this video loads, and I will probably make sure to list the Anna Lee Thanksgiving thing immediately. Um, so... Uh, the links for my Etsy and eBay Trash Kitchen Treasure Stores are bound below. If you don't want to play search and want one item in the video, just tell me below and I'll tell you where it ends up being listed. I do have a few things listed on Macari and they're overloaded on the other platforms. All right, I will see you all next time.